Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how you can install View with Mix in Laravel. In my previous video, I've shown you how you can do it using Veet. But in this video, I'll show you with Mix because most of people if already using in previous uh, Laravel with the View, they will be using with Mix. So if they want to install Mix with the also Laravel newer version, so they can do it with this. So to install Mix, firstly, we need to remove Veet from dependencies and then need to install mix so let's get started with today's video let me show you first package.json so here you can see scripts are having and build its wheat dependent and in their dependency you can see wheat is there so we need to remove this let me just show you composer.json as well it's just a freshly new project and for wheat there is one more file wheat.config.js so these also I need to remove. So now let's install Laravel UI package inside that view will be there. So firstly we will install. So let's go write command composer require Laravel slash UI. So firstly we will be installing view and then we will be removing beat. So now let's write top HP artisan UI view. So this command has installed view in our project. So now let's go to package.json and, and here you can see in dev dependency view is installed. So now after view install, now let's uh, remove beat. So write npm uninstall beat. So this will uninstall beat uh, from dev dependencies. There are other things also that we need to remove Laravel beat plugin. You can remove using command or you can directly remove from package.json and you can start with npm install. So this will install new node modules with the, all the listed dev dependencies only. So run npm install. And after that we will be running server. So let's run the server. You can see it's still using wheat as Laravel wheat plugin is not uninstalled. So now let me show you documentation before that. So that's the welcome page for wheat. Now let's go to Laravel documentation and here you can see Laravel Mix. So uh, there are some steps that you can see here. You can go through the documentation. Let me show you Laravel Mix documentation. Here you can see npm install Laravel Mix. So now we need to install Laravel Mix into our project. So now let's run the same command into our project. So it's running. It will take some time to install it will not remove anything it will just install mix into our project so here you can see in dev dependency laravel mix is now installed so laravel mix only installed in dev dependency nothing changed in script build it's again beat only there so now let's remove beat dependency so remove beat plugin here then laravel beat plugin also so two dependency i have removed other i think all looks fine so now in script we need to change we need to remove wheat and we need to add mix so i'm using from my previous uh, project only because if i'll write everything then it will be like a long video i just want to keep it short so i'll explain you all these uh, which i'm using here these are all scripts that you can run using npm run and after that script name so let's say dev so npm run dev will start your server as development then npm run watch if you will run this command it will watch your like continuous changes it will watch if you have any changes into your file it will just you know without running every time npm run dev it will just like watching your changes and reload your project into browser so similar way you can run for production that is npm run prod or npm run production so now let's create webpack.mix.js so write in command touch webpack.mix.js this will be created inside your project folder so in webpack.js let's go to documentation and here you can see it's awesome some code is already there so, so from here i'm just going to take mix and from another laravel documentation i'm going to take mix.js where app.js and css is loaded so main purpose for webpack is to bundle javascript files that you can use uh, in browser 
so here it will be bundling app.js so on css files to load in browser let's start server and see so npm run dev so you can see there is one error and it says uh, instead rename webpack to cjs so let's rename it to cjs extension basically so now let's again start server and uh, this time there is a different error in our uh, token unexpected token so here what is happening webpack is not able to you know load view because we don't know that view is there so we need to tell webpack that view files are there so with after js add dot view so now after making this change let's the uh, install npm so write npm i and after that now let's start server npm run that so here you can see it says additional dependencies that is view loader we need so let's install this so command is already there just copy and paste and run now view loader is installed now let's start the server and you can see it says that extension is needed so just uh, with bootstrap in app.js add extension .js as well so now let's start the server and now you can see it's successful so now let's run again one more command npm run watch so this will keep uh, continuing running the server so there is no error now let's run php server as well so start php artisan server now let's go and open this url here you can see laravel welcome page so now let's do the changes for view in welcome.blade.php now let's just remove extra code and let's just keep body inside that write script and here we are going to load our app.js that will create our view app so write script with src we are going to pass app.js using mix so inside double curly bracket write mix and pass path of your file app.js file so here js slash app.js so now create a div and give id app inside that call our example component you can find example component inside js components in that you can find example component dot view so that i'll be calling here and that will be as a element now let's go to browser and refresh so here you can see example component is loaded so that's how you can install view inside laravel using mac i have shown you all the errors possible that you can get while installing view in laravel so i hope you like this video so if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section so that's all in this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching